Hi, welcome to my channel and today's video, I'm going to unpack two packages One from Anything Sandy and the other one is from Superview And I'm going to unpack that and use that something or I'm going to give you my thoughts about that And then I'll give you a bonus video about DIY on how to remove makeup even though you don't have a makeup remover, you can use with a DIY. And then, let's start from Anything Sandy. Here it is. Um, she, I think the seller is a she. I didn't order from, from, I didn't order this from Shopee, but I ordered this from Instagram. But she is, she can be found on, um, Facebook too. So here it is. Um, it's actually a color pop eyeshadows um, or press shadows. I mean, and thank you for packing it nicely because I love it. There's a foam on it, and but the packaging tape is quite tough, so we might as well use a scissors. Oh my god. there's a foam and I ordered just two shades and this is salt water and I'm going to reuse the foam <laughs> and this is muscle beach finally I found a muscle beach beach muscle beach beach <laughs> muscle beach and a salt water I'm going to use this right now the muscle beach why not i know i have a lot of brushes but then i'm going to use my fingers i am way it's way easier that way so you could tell that this is good pigmented so here it is this is the muscle beach oh my look at that it's just a lot of few swirls and here it is oh my god <laughs> this is very very pigmented oh my god oh my god this is so pigmented wow by the way i'm covering my tees my crease area with tees this is tees over here tees from naked three so i'm just going to um cover it up with muscle pitch and here it is oh my god I have noticed that there's a lot of fallouts I, I don't know maybe it's my imagination or what okay I'm going to swatch it first before putting on my next eye two three four see there's fallout I think this is very pigmented that you have to press it instead of swirling it anyway Here's the swatch. Look at that. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to tap it. Tap it instead of swirling it four times. And put it onto my other crease area. I don't notice that. It's so green <laughs> it's like i'm in the ocean i don't have the two piece because it's sold out i think it's not it's only this is only limited edition so i cannot order again i want the two piece badly but i'm sorry there is no um the two piece shade it's a blue for all you know that it's a blue shade and it really complements with the muscle beach for me because my eyes would look like i'm in the beach really a lot of people um, complain about subculture Anastasia's palette, the subculture palette, I mean. Um, I believe it's just preferences. If people love to swirl or, or love to swirl around the palette, it's just not that good for subculture. But if you want to dab, so just simply softly dab it and you'll get pigments anyway. So you have to, you don't have any flaws. Just like earlier, you see, I love to swirl. And there's a lot of fallout there. So you need to dab it instead of swirling it. If, if cases like this, it's very pigmented if that eyeshadow could easily be fallout. Especially the eyeshadows. 
Yeah, this is actually the sun. I love it. And the next, next shade is the salt water. Um, I'm actually, I'm very, very eyeing for this because I love the shade. Look at that. It's very pretty. Salt water. So here it is. I'm going to use my ring. Not ring. The ring finger was a muscle beach. I'm going to use my middle finger. Here it is. I'm just going to swirl it four times. And here's the pigment. Oh. Ain't that pretty? And then I don't know where to put this, but I'm going to swatch, swatch it for you guys. So here it is. There. You can see the two shades. Hopefully, hopefully you can see those two shades. Um, the salt water and the muscle beach. Could you tell that the muscle beach is very, very, very pigmented? Um, because when I swirl it few times um it just um had a shade on it i don't know what with this maybe i'm just going to put that onto my inner corners let's see how this thing goes by the way the center of my core eye is um board shorts and this is salt water on my inner corners hmm okay board shorts is way um brown while the Salt water is way to the orange side. I usually love it. I love orange. <laughs> oh my god, I get to hang up this. Oh my god. I need to blend this here so I could even out there. Too bad there's no blue. Then the other package, I'm just going to open this up. I love the shades. I love about the two shades regarding the muscle beach and the salt water here. Here, I'm just going to see that. I love those two shades. It's very pigmented. I don't have to say anything because I really did a review about the other shades of the four shades. So I'm going to move on to the next. Um, since I'm not in Manila, so I ordered a package from, from Super Beaut on Shopee. So it's kind of big. See, it's very, very big. So all I have to do is just open it up. Actually, I only... Um, order just a few few items and this is all I got anyway let's dig in and there's another package well actually the Shopee put um my core is supposed to be the black arrow but I, I wonder why they they change it to LBC I don't know no just as long as my order came through. As always, Super Beaut, um, they, um, they package it nicely. Well done. Thank you. And the verdict for the, uh, the not verdict. The result for this is I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to cut this process so you could, um, save time. I could save time for you guys and for me too for this video. Here it is. Chum, 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 chum. Okay, just ordered a castor oil <laughs> for my lashes. Um, currently, it's very, it's good where it's working, and I put a bit of a, of aloe vera, not just a castor oil, for faster um, results onto my eyelashes and eyebrows. I do that, and also with my mom, and I do have argan oils from them from the Super Beauty, and I like it. Um, it's. I, I like this set because it's mild and then I've seen that this pure rosehip oil was still on sale I forgot the price how much was it but it's it's really on sale with and also this one is on sale so I had to get this on my hands just to have a sale because this is quite costly and it's like 200 pesos I think I believe this was 200 pesos with a discounted price and rosehip oil is for anti wrinkles and also it's also good for if you have ever uh, if you have ever I'm sorry um if you have any um, there's a lot of stretch marks around your area so it's, this is very useful I think I'm going to use this I have stretch marks <laughs> yes those but I have those skin conditions anyway I think you have those too so if ever if you have this you could uh, if you have those skin conditions like search marks you can, you can take this and if you I forgot all about I'm going to put that on the benefits of the skin or rose hip oil 
um, just going to put that in the details on this description below because I'm that lazy I'm sorry and then for my bonus for about the DIY on makeup remover since I'm wearing makeup I'm going to remove this makeup um, all you need is all you have need all you, you only need three things actually you need four one is the body wash I use Johnson's and top to toe body wash or any body wash you have or baby shampoo could be and a an empty this one I use I use this very much on my armpits and it's good anyway um this is empty so this is all I got this is empty jar I could use this and three for water and four is for olive oil where wait where's my olive, olive oil supposedly I needed extra olive oil but my mom reached for this instead of extra virgin olive oil so anyway this is the only thing here I have in the olive oil so I'm going to use this you know the benefits of olive oil right okay if you don't I'm just going to put in the description box below so you can tell what's the benefits for the olive oil on the skin so shall we start about this uh -huh. okay regarding about the measurements about the, this three ingredients uh, I'm just going to tell you the, it's only it only depends on the empty jar empty bottle you got or empty something you have you don't need a cotton pad first don't use the cotton pad first you we can put that or dunk that cotton pad later on whatever you have to cut across like that um because that's only for the last but let's go stop by this is okay empty jars let's start with the oil olive oil so here it is i hope you can see that bottom line I'm not going to use the measurements but that depends on the bottle or the jar empty jar you've got so that's it that's just only small one. this olive oil could remove your um, waterproof makeup and then next is the body wash here I'm just going to put that directly so you can see that here yeah just another one for it Yeah, I think that's enough. Do you think it's enough? Nah. Yeah, that's it. The next, the rest is water. So I'm going to get the water here. This is the water. There. This is water. I'm going to put that here. Bottoms up. Oh my god. It's messy. I know. And that's it. And no, you can see that there's oil around here. Yeah, that's normal because that's chemistry, baby. Um, water doesn't mix with oil. So if you don't want to make, if you want to make, uh, we need to mix it up. So you need a spatula for that. So I'm going to grab a spatula for you guys so you can see that. So here's my spatula. Let's just see. Mix it all up with the spatula. You know what? It reminds me of gold, for gold like the first holly because it's very yellow. Um, so you could see what I mean. I'll let you see. Hold on. So this is what I mean. That looks like a rose gold. I don't know if you could see that. There. It looks like a. It's like you're eating from a soup <laughs> that's very oily with the, the beef nilaga <laughs> something. So lastly, let's put the cotton pad. This is the cotton pad that we have here in the house. It's new, I know. I need to remove it. I need to cut this up. Put this cotton pad in here and it's very full so this isn't bad <laughs> I need to pour it up with the, with the empty jar I've got here this one so now nah, I don't think so um the cotton absorbs the water so might as well so I'm going to grab it here if this is good enough there 
I'm just going to slowly put that. You know, cottons are absorbable, so. Oh my god. I slowly put that because I accidentally put that a lot of water. That bad. I'm sorry. Here it is. Slowly put that so I won't spill something a lot. Oops. There. I think that needs more cotton because there's a lot of liquids in there. So let's say here. Actually, I need a lot because my mom also uses this one. And first, at first, she didn't um, believe what I did. But then when she sees what I, that my makeup really removes, so she said, make that for us. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Okay, mom, okay. So that I won't buy, she said, I won't buy any more cotton makeup remover just for this but then we still we still need to have a micellar water afterwards with this one or yeah afterwards with this one I don't know I love micellar water very much very much God, it's a long way to go because cotton are very absorbable as what I said Okay, I'm just going to cut this video up and I'll let you see how I remove my makeup. I need to remove my makeup right now because I'm going to sleep. So what I did earlier, I'm just going to get some of this one because it's soaking wet already here. So I'm sorry about that. The cat really would. I don't know whose cat was that. It's a straight cat. Anyway, anywho, let's get taken here and move one. First, the lip. Let's start with the lip, right? This is color purple, so I'm wearing color purple. Gashi size, kind of issue. Hard to remove. In case, this is what happens. I know that's a lot. Here. Hi, mom. A lot of makeup have removed, so that's how you remove makeup at DIY. So hope you guys enjoyed what I did, and oh, I'm wearing mascara right now, so I'm just going to move that. That's a lot, a lot. I'm going to get another one, and of course, I have a hard to remove eyebrows makeup so I need to dab that instead of swiping it on because it my my hair is literally move that's what I if I harshly swipe it so instead I'm just going to I'm going to fast forward this so this is my third pad for the eyebrows again and it's all clean up and I'm not going to wash my face every night because I don't want to stress my eyes about that there's some myth about that here in our culture so I'm just going to follow that too and I'm really really lazy about that too so I agree that and and since there's a soap around my face i'm going to remove i'm going to use a facial tissue with this one and i'll demonstrate it to you guys i'll be back so with facial tissue here so here it is but to remove this soap around my face you won't have you won't uh, you need to remove these soaps onto your face because you don't want to end up like if it's shampoo, you end up dandruff, and if it's and it's skin, you'll end up drying your skin. So all you need to do is what tap it or like tap onto your face with the facial tissue. So what I did, and here 
it's not it's gone and then i'm going to use my silver water my solar water for deeper cleansing and this is it this is my favorite my solar water it's from simple and i've been doing this since day one and i don't like the my solar water of laurier and especially the maybelline I don't like it. i'm sorry but i love this very much because it literally removes my makeup <laughs> yeah sticks onto my face Swirling the cotton pad with simple micellar water all over my face. This brand removes my makeup on my face easily, and it's good for sensitive skin too. Some of the parts can be removed with our DIY makeup remover, so micellar water will do the deep cleansing. Good for sensitive skin for simple. That's what I love about this, and there's no smell. Um, if I use, if I buy their makeup crit remover cleansing wipes it's kind of expensive so i prefer this one instead <laughs> because it like it looks like it'll take months for me to to use uh, this just this bottle with the 198 ml and this is available from watson's and also in landers i think no not landers in s and r and this is it this is all see it's just i'm sorry about the gunkiness this is all i've left a lot all left in my skin when i remove the cleansing the when i use our diy makeup remover so and then that's it i'm just going to use my makeup skincare routine i haven't um give you about this review about this um i like to make a review on this while i'm using this so i'll just stay it sun for standby i've been using this quite a lot this one this is it and this one too and this is also it's good it's very fluffy it's good for the powder brush <laughs> anywho sorry about delaying some of the videos because i was sick for quite a few days and i'm okay i'm not I'm okay right now so like, don't worry about that and um I'll forgot the sample I forgot to do a review about the samples I've received so maybe I'll give you a review about that too with the next video and thank you for viewing this channel and this video too and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click like if you like this video and if you want to be notified with my incoming new videos, please click on the bell icon near the subscribe tab. And that's it. And again, thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoy as much as I do. I really, really enjoy this, especially DIY, just to give you, just to share this to you guys on, it's a nifty kind of, kind of situation if you want to that. And you need to, it's kind of big amount it's like costly for me for me it's very costly to buy just for the makeup removers but instead you can make that to yourself anywho thank you for watching again and i'm going to sleep i really i do i look like time to you guys yes i'm tired of looking i am sleeping okay see you guys soon bye